those windows. Ooh. Wow. I'm David Williamson. I was born in 1942 and I'm a playwright. And I'm Felix Williamson. I'm his son and I'm an actor, writer and a director. I grew up in suburban Melbourne and at the age of about 10, my father was a bank officer and we switched to rural Bairnsdale in Gippsland. My parents fought continuously. It was, it was drama non-stop in my home. And I, I thought, I have to find out why people fight. What's the cause? Why can't people live happily together? And so I had a big obsessive question in my brain. Why are people as they are? I graduated as a mechanical engineer, but I had no interest in engineering at all. David Williamson lives in Melbourne, where he lectures in thermodynamics. He is a part-time writer and basically seems to like it that way. I think the moment that made me as a playwright was when I wrote a play called The Removalists, and suddenly, boom, people took notice. What do you think of Ross's potential? What is? A welterweight. <laughs> <laughs> my mother and father were conservative, to say the least, and uh, my father was uh, particularly worried about me going into this strange field. My mother was appalled. She didn't quite realise the nature of my plays, and she took her Frankston bowling club along to see a performance of Don's Party, and she was mortified. Um, she almost felt she had to resign from the bowls club. Look, if you think I enjoy being mauled by your randy husbands, then you're wrong. Men are pigs. I think about seven or eight of my uh, plays have been turned into movies, but the, the good ones, I'm so glad uh, that they happened, yeah, because it's a permanent record of, um, of a play. What's the meaning of you telling me how to run the game? I'm the president of this club, Lorraine. If I've got an opinion to express, I'll express it. All my sons at various parts of their career, all my two acting sons at any rate, have played uh, roles in, yeah. uh, in my plays. There was no arguments at all. It was completely harmonious, the entire process. I just want to say that, I don't know. No. Felix was, <laughs> was a, a, a difficult actor because I was not a very nurturing director. Uh, he was my, a dictatorial my, director. I was a dictatorial director. I said, <laughs> stand there, do that, you know. He got brilliant crits. He said I was a lousy director, but he got brilliant yeah. crits. And, uh, uh, and I didn't say you were a lousy director. Oh, well, director. I, I, well. Yeah, I got the vibe. Uh, uh, <laughs> Look, I think I've now written something like 54 plays um, over the years. Um, I tell my children that Shakespeare only wrote 36. <laughs> but then he died at 52, which I didn't, so... Um, I thought I'd finished my career in 2005 because I had an intermittent heart condition, but then medical technology caught up, they did a, an operation inside my heart, uh, got rid of the worst of it, and suddenly I felt re rejuvenated and felt a fake. I, why wasn't I working again? I've seen him in fibrillation, it's like, it's pretty scary. Yeah, so, well, they, so, yeah. they'd come in and I'd be all hooked up with uh, yeah. <laughs> drips and things. But and it's I, like... I, I, think, yeah. I think the family put, uh, family said, stop working. You know, yeah, you know. yeah. Either that or I would have to get you a defibrillator for Christmas or something, yeah. just, just to have it on hand. They're pretty, yeah. on Amazon, pretty cheap these days. Next year is my 50th year as a playwright and I've decided uh, at the age of 77 that's enough. I don't believe it for a second. No, I'm, I'm terribly happy uh, and I don't think I, I will be going back to it. We'll see. <laughs>Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.